Thank you, Aries, for tuning in to Amore e Bella Tarot. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment, Aries, um, as that is the fuel that keeps me motivated to keep coming forth with some free entertainment. This Aries is for the third week of May. Spirits of Peace and Love, what advice and guidance we have for our beautiful Aries, Aries Nation. Spirits of Peace and Love, what guidance and advice we have for our beautiful Aries. Um, I am doing personal readings, Aries, so um, if you're interested in getting more uh, detailed information, look at the link down below. Uh, the phrase of the week, Aries, is history repeats itself for this third week of May. Um, so Mother Nature usually hits the same areas as uh, it does on a yearly basis, and sometimes we as humans pick the same individuals for relationships on a consistency basis so let's be careful what we wish for okay um aries and here at the bottom of this deck you got soulmate yes this is your soulmate beautiful all right spirits of peace and love what advice do we have for our beautiful aries? on this third week of may spirits of peace and love what advice and guidance we have for our beautiful aries now, I know this is not going to reside with the masses, Aries, so take what resides and leave the rest, all right? So, what advice do we have for beautiful Aries on this third week of May? Spirits of peace and love, what advice do we have for Aries on this third week of May? At the bottom of the deck, ooh, beautiful. You have a wish fulfillment to the Nine of Cups. You have the genie granting you your wish. Okay, just saying, Aries. What have you wished for, Aries? Be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. <laughs> All right, spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Aries nation? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for Aries on this beautiful uh, third week of May? It's so beautiful out there. And it seems like we're slowly but surely moving on to normality here, Aries. Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for Aries? Spirits of peace and love. What advice do we have for Aries on this beautiful spring day? At the bottom of the deck, Aries, you have six pentacles, which represents equal give and take. All right? Beautiful. That's what we all deserve. Equal, equal give and take in a relationship makes a relationship last a long time. All right, this is for a beautiful Aries, spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for them for this third week of May? Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Aries for this third week of May? Spirits of peace and love, thank you so much. What advice do we have for a beautiful Aries on this beautiful third week of May? At the bottom of the deck, you have travel. Yes, hopefully we can start getting to do that here, Aries. Your life purpose involves travel. All right, gorgeous. All right, let's clarify and let's pull out some cards. Let's get into this. Spirits of peace and love. What advice do we have for a beautiful Aries on this third week of May. Thank you, Father Almighty. Amen. <clears throat> and we have the speaker. Your life purpose involves your skills of orations. Or, or, uh, oration. Oration. Sorry, I've never said that word ever in my life. Okay, so so your, your words are very powerful here, uh, Aries. So you have a lot of a lot of knowledge and a lot of uh, ability to to educate and um, maybe bring some people at ease here, um, Aries, with your words. Yes, beautiful. The power of the word. Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Trust your intuition here, Aries, to make the right decisions. The heavens are always on our behalf here, Aries. All right, spirits of peace and love, what advice do we have for beautiful Aries for this third week of May family? Loving, loving your friends and family is essential to your 
life purpose yes la family is what keeps us focused keeps us above water keeps us fighting yes all right spirits of peace and love what advice and what else do we have to bring out for a beautiful aries nation here we have creative expression your soul longs to express itself creatively um, yeah, so maybe you just got to start drawing or writing here. Um, Aries, maybe you just got to start writing a little bit or um, just just Googling and amazingly you will come across some wonderful new writings or poems or ideas. Yeah, you're very artistic here. Or you feel very artistic lately here. Aries, that's beautiful. Maybe because we've been locked down for so long, we're bringing out stuff we didn't even know we had. But hey, whatever works. Keep that mind occupied. Gets into less trouble. All right, what, 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 what advice or clarification do we have here for Aries for the speaker, Spirits of Peace and Love? Uh, five of Swords. So you're, you're walking away from any... Um, any arguments, any fighting, you, you don't want to do it that anymore. You just want to keep your mind clear and sometimes it's more the mind, you know, battling yourself in the mind here, Aries. That's what that card just makes me feel right now. All right, Spirits of Peace and Love. Why is this? You might feel left out in the cold here, um, Aries, or you might have left somebody out in the cold, okay? Two fives back to back, okay? All right. Why is this Five of Pentacles here for Aries, Spirits of Peace and Love? The Hot, the Empress. So I think you're evolving. You're evolving to this higher person here, Aries. You've uh, maybe gone within and you know your worth. You 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 are in tune with Mother Nature, with, with the heavens, with the stars, with the animals here, Aries. That's beautiful. And you're moving forward here, Aries. You 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 evolve. It's like you're leaving somebody behind. You're not you're not left been left behind. Okay, it's like you you've left this energies behind, Aries, because you know life is too short, and you're taking action. You're moving forward. You made a decision, and you're 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 taking action. That's the action card right there. Beautiful, Aries. All right, and here on trust, spirits of peace and love, what do we have for Aries? The Knight of Wands. So there's going to be a passionate offer. Um, more physical, though, it's not so much. Um, or maybe a passionate new beginning on how to make some money here, uh, Aries. And then here you have somebody crying over spilled love. And it could be the person that you left behind here, Aries. Maybe they were just more of a physical relationship here Aries and you um, you left them crying uh, you left them um, you've left them <laughs> that's all I gotta say you've done left them all right and here on this five of cups for Aries where we have spirits of peace and love we have yeah they they want to offer you this uh, this physical contact here Aries they want to be physical with you Aries but I don't think you're accepting it because you know it's not real. No, you're guarding your heart. You're guarding your heart. You're not gonna fall. You're not gonna fall through with that. No, you're not gonna follow through with that. All right, and here we have. Yeah, there's a lot of options coming your way. A lot of love offers, um, Aries, and I could see that over here too. But you are not making any harsh decision here, Aries. You're you're taking your time. You're going to weigh all your pros and cons, and you're going to let the universe help you make the best decision, and they will. That's beautiful, Aries. Yay! All right, and on this family card for a beautiful Aries, what do we have? Spirits of peace and love, yes. Um, I think you might be a single here, Aries, or somebody single and very bountiful. All right, I think that's your energy. I think you feel really happy in your home. You feel abundant, you feel good about it, and oh, this person is just persistent, Aries. 
this person wants to give you a false just physical interaction here Aries there's nothing real there's no love it's just physical it's just not not good it's toxic and they keep coming at you here uh, Aries they keep wanting to have you fall in their trap but I don't think you're accepting it because you are happy being single you're happy being um, abundant on your own you're not worried about nothing here Aries and you've uh, you cut anything that is not serving you for the highest good of yourself here, Aries. You're cutting anything that is toxic and is not a solid friendship foundation. Okay, even just friends that are toxic here, Aries, you're getting rid of anything that is not bringing forth any joy. Because you have gone within. You have gone within. You have gone through the ringer. You have experienced a lot of pain. And you're ready to, uh, to, to be happy, to go for your empress, to go for your perfect, uh, truthful, loving, nurturing love. Because you have, you have gone through the ringer. You see things differently, Aries. You, you analyze things differently here. That's beautiful, Aries. Yes. And on this creative expression, you have some passionate new endeavors coming. Some passionate new ideas are starting. It's like you're planting all these ideas here, Aries, and they're going to bring you forth a lot of funds. Yes. Yes, the Knight of Swords. To me, the Knight of Swords is somebody who's, who's a player, who's wishy-washy, who comes in and out and then just... Once you, they see that you're starting to be happy, then they come in again and they just disrupt your energy, Aries. Don't accept them. And that burdens you. That 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 burdens you, you know. But this is a ten of uh, wands. You're ready to let that go. You're ready to drop those wands and and go whatever it, wherever it makes you happy here, Aries. Because you know your value. You know what you, you know what you want. You know you want that traditional equal give loving family marriage yes beautiful aries we're gonna put one more on that one aries all right why is this a harp on here the queen of cups this person is loving um abundant very nurturing all right that's what you want that's what you deserve and you're all up in your head or somebody's all up in I think it's whoever you left behind here. Aries, you left somebody behind and they're just this lustful person just wants to um um right here, where is it? This this lustful person is just staying up at night trying to create trickery and 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 and, and plots to try to have you fall for them, but but you already know that they're the devil. <laughs> Just say it. Just throwing it out there. Aries, the hair of the devil. Okay, don't let them. Don't fall for it. All right, Aries, don't do it. All right. All right, here we're going to clarify the speaker with one card. And that card is the wish fulfillment. Your wish is coming forth. You're going to get what you've been praying to the heavens here, Aries. That's beautiful. And here on this trust card, what do we have? Spirits of peace and love. Trust card we have uh, somebody's juggling maybe juggling jobs maybe juggling um, juggling uh, relationships here uh, Aries All right. and then here we have for this family what do we have for Aries we have the seven of Pentacles so you're you're working hard you're you're planting the seeds here Aries. You don't see any fruit yet, Aries, but you know it's coming. You know there's going to be a lot of abundance coming your way here, Aries. That's beautiful because you're getting your wish fulfillment here. And you're working hard on your money. You're just, just maybe working in two jobs, working hard on your money here, Aries. The King of Swords. Yes, that energy is beautiful, Aries. You are not accepting anything that is not truthful that is not honest and that is not going to serve you for your higher good beautiful areas beautiful 
And at the bottom of the deck, again, Aries, you have your other wish fulfillment. This is the star card, another wish fulfillment from the heavens. This is given to you from the heavens, Aries. That's beautiful. A lot of wish fulfillments. You have put the work and it's, the abundance is coming, Aries. The abundance is coming. Yes. Thank you, Lord. All right. <clears throat> very soon. That's all going to happen very soon, Aries. So don't, 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 don't worry. It's coming. It's coming fast. Yes, because you deserve it. All right, Aries, and here for the trust, you have trust again. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you got trust with trust. I love, I love reading the tarot decks, guys. I really embrace it. You have trust. So trust your heart here, Aries. Trust, trust the heavens. Trust, trust that you deserve everything that is coming your way, Aries. You, you are deserving of all that is coming your path because it is your soulmate yes this is your soulmate it is going to bring you you and your family a lot of abundance and a lot of joy all this happiness here Aries that's beautiful and on this creative expression for Aries what do we have we have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture don't be afraid don't hold back Aries Express what your heart wants to say. That's a beautiful Aries. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, that concludes. Well, let me just tell you. Honeymoon. So you're going to have a lot of hanky-panky going on here, Aries. A lot of a lot of uh, physical interaction. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Aries, for letting me come into your space. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. And uh, I am doing personal, so hit the link down below. Blessings.